It's up and stuck. Homeroom is smooth. Brings it down to Miami. Let's get it. So it's just leading above the beauty. <laughs> All right, y'all. So listen, this is Homeroom with Smooth. Uh, there is no episode number for this. Um, so basically, this episode is just asking a simple question. What does Juneteenth mean to me? Um, and I will propose the question also to you. What does Juneteenth mean to you? Uh, leave that in the comment section down below. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, leave follow or whatever um if you're listening on the audio platform i know it varies like sometimes it's like sometimes it's whatever um and also leave a review that that helps okay rate rate us give us five stars baby we trying out here we working we working or at least i'm working shit um but anyway what does juneteenth mean to me um and when i Phrase that question. I'm I'm talking more so about like the federal holiday, right? Because you know, you know, we got we got the federal holiday now. You know what I'm saying? We get it off. You know, I, I'm up recording because I don't have to be at work tomorrow. Um, excuse me. And the the real like I I like it. Like I'm I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Because the first time the first time it happened, I was deployed. Like I didn't even get the day off. Like they gave us half, like everybody got whole days off. I end up getting half, half, half for Black Holiday, half. You want to talk about like, like real deal was like, man, fuck this shit. Our real deal was like, fuck this shit. Um, um, but anyway, uh, that's a whole nother story in and of itself, but I do want to say um, having this first one where I'm actually able to be off and stuff, like I really don't even want to be out or anything. Like I just want to like reflect on like myself and like where I am in the world and reflect on like, like be thankful, you know, be thankful for that I'm not in the situation of my ancestors, that that all their hard work, you know what I'm saying, and sacrifices they made have paid off until the day where I'm able to be doing this. Because you know, back in the day, that wasn't an option. Been out in the field. Um, and the significance of Juneteenth is that, you know, th this was when, you know, the last slaves were finally freed because, Yes, yes, they freed them after the after the after the Civil War, but they did not uh in Texas. So Texas still had slaves. They were like, yo, we not telling nobody nothing. So they had so they had they were riding around from township to township, letting black people know, hey, you are free. You do you don't have to do this anymore. Although I will say um, we, that's when you enter the Reconstruction era, and then after the Reconstruction era, uh, it ends up being a um, it ends up being a shit show because then uh, the National Guard leaves, the people lose their protections, and they just they just start being evil. Like that's where you get Jim Crow. That's where you get Jim Crow at. And um, now for myself, not. You know what I'm saying? Being a byproduct of uh, all the all the hard work that's went in before then, I want to now um, help educate people. You know what I'm saying? On Juneteenth, I think that's important. Um, I think uh, you know volunteering is important on Juneteenth. I think for me, like the holiday is like we really should reflect. It, it, that's what it should be. It should be a ref, like time to reflect because I know Black History Month, you know what I'm saying? That's the education piece. But I feel like Juneteenth is really like more of an internal piece. Like you should reflect and like try and become a better um, uh, black man or woman during that time because like we, we ourselves, we have our own internal problems. As a, as a group, as a group, we have our own internal problems. Pick pick whichever one you want to.
pick whichever one you want to when you're thinking about it, okay? You know what I'm saying? African Americans, we have our own issues. Heck, even amongst the people that have immigrated here versus African Americans, we have our own like internal issues. And I feel like with the level of struggles that we still experience today, us being divided is is not good. We need to be arm in arm, you know what I'm saying? Like really focused on getting to the goal. And everybody might have different uh, destination. Now, I mean, everybody is trying to get to the same destination, but everybody has different paths. And it's okay if somebody takes a different path than you. You know what I'm saying? Just show them love and show them support. Like it costs nothing. It costs you zero to show love and support. It costs zero. You know what I'm saying? And I, I want I want everybody to try and do that. Try and show love. Try and support the black people you know. Try and support them. All right. Um, and then I would say the next piece of it is um, you know, definitely that healing portion. Um, of the self-reflection, like making sure we heal from all the um, previous like hurts that have happened like, in our lives. Um, because we, we go through a lot. We go through a lot. Uh, and I guess I guess my fi- my final thing was be like this being a federal holiday isn't enough. You know what I'm saying? Like and I don't I don't want anyone to be pacified by us getting a holiday, another holiday. Okay, cool. Cool. We got one more day added to our 28 or 29 day month. You know what I'm saying? So we got what? We got 29 to 30 days of black history. Okay. That's 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 not even enough. Like like we need something actually tangible. They keep doing things that are to pacify us without actually doing the necessary things and work that we actually need, okay? We need actual criminal justice reform. That still ain't happening. We need, um, um, like, we need stuff against, uh, like, hate crimes and, like, these hate groups that are refining a foothold, like, this it's we're living in some weird times, man. We we need we need we need we gonna have to we need laws to combat that. You know what I'm saying? We need we need stuff on the books to help uh with po- police brutality. We need that. We need that it, on the books. On the books, there's there's literally nothing like man. Um, right now with the way the Supreme Court is, the, this is not gonna happen. Like qualified immunity is pretty much just stuck. And I know the Senate and the House aren't finna vote on anything like that. They get paid too much from the uh, from the police unions. And I know there's a lot of people that's like, "Who oh, are black people? We contribute more capital to them. They'll do something for us." Like we've been basically put keeping them in office. Like we need to hold them accountable with our vote. You know what I'm saying? If us holding them accountable with our vote <clears throat> means uh, we lose some seats in the House and the Senate. For a little minute, so be it. So be it. But we got to, we have to punish them in some way possible. And we might have to, we might have to cut off our hand to save the body. Just to be real. Like, and when I say them, I'm talking about the Democrats. Okay. We we give them our vote all the time. All the time. Yet we don't, they don't do anything tangible for us all the time like they literally just pander like they pander so hard like they're they're like the they're basically a toxic girlfriend or boyfriend you know what i'm saying they're manipulative it's a bad relationship we gotta do something and I'm, i'm not saying we go down the street you know what i'm saying to the republicans house that ain't gonna do it that ain't gonna cut it Mm -mm. time out time out time out that's worse that's worse that's worse okay what we do need to do is we need to hold these people in power accountable. And how do you hold them accountable? With our vote. If we don't show up, they will lose. They will lose. And once they see like, oh, these people mean business. They they, they mean business. We're going to have to do something. 
and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna make moves. They're gonna make moves. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to. But we got to show them we mean business. That's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. <clears throat> but they know they they feel like they know we don't have an option but to vote for them. You know what I'm saying? And that's just so messed up. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know what I'm saying that that boyfriend and girlfriend. Where you gonna go after you leave me? Don't nobody want you. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's the relationship we have with them. Um, but yeah, I think I'll leave it right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about uh Juneteenth and what does it mean to you? Uh and um yeah, y'all have a good one. I'm out. <laughs>